someone. It means you still want something from them. What if the explanation or apology never came? Then it is up to you to release yourself from being trapped in the past. Forgive. Move forward and stop wishing it was different. Yes, you were hurt, but it is your responsibility to heal. No one, and I mean no one, owes you anything. You, however, owe yourself everything, especially happiness. Affirm, I am forgiving and moving forward, 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 forward. Hello, my beautiful, 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 beautiful people. I did read this quote or affirmation on one of my shorts, but I think it is very, very important. There's just something about that that affirmation that it just makes so much sense, so much sense, so much sense. Nobody, nobody, nobody in this world owes you anything. But look what we got. Look what we got. Look what we got. So I decided since a few people were asking for it. So, here we are. I did a sample video on my Patreon, by the way. Patreon family. <laughs> Just when you thought the drama couldn't get any worse, juicier. Y'all, I went out last night. That's all I have to say. So, um, join me on my journey with my weight loss on my Patreon and just follow my messiness, family drama, all of it. So, I hope to see you there. So, um, let me know down in the comments.
this was probably one of the best revenge plot ever like I don't know if I necessarily cared for the movie right but it was a hell of a revenge plot it is what it is like there's certain things that you know she could have done differently and if she did it you know the movie would not have been as long as it was but um that's all I'm saying. Like, like she made like a lot of dumb choices, but um, I don't want to give away what I would do. But all I'm gonna say is this: I would have smashed out every fucking window until something worked. That's all I'm gonna say. But um, a man is left. I'm sorry. A woman is left handcuffed. To her dead husband as part of a sick revenge plot. Unable to unshackle, she has to survive as two killers arrive to finish her off. So her husband, you know, takes her into like this cabin, wines and dines her all the stuff, jewelry, and then she wakes up and he um he kills himself, he shoots himself in the head. But the twist is, the plot twist is that he has her handcuffed to him, and so he removes every single um, sharp item in the house that can break free. I mean, this man supposedly thought of everything, but, um, yeah, and so once she's shackled, then there are these two killers who are looking for something, and so, yeah, so she's trying to She's choking around this, her dead body, her dead husband's body, handcuffed as she's trying to get away from killers. And so, I mean, like I said, bullies hold. I mean, like I said, um, just watch the movie, just watch the movie, just watch the movie, just watch the movie.
English channel that was like recapping it and she informed everybody where you can watch all episodes and so I hopped on that shit so fast um it's like I said it's all bl it's all all black app I want to say they gave like a I think it was a seven day free trial and it's like $5.99 after that but I plan on keeping it because there is so much shit on that all black app holy fuck I mean even if you're not black y'all there's still so many good there's so many shit on there that I can't wait to watch that I cannot wait to get into um but anyway the point is love after lockup listen if you don't know by now it's about people who either write in or they they met their loved ones in prison and they're meeting for the first time when they come out and they're hoping like this happily ever after bullshit right but it never ends that way and like I, sometimes i'm not even sure who's crazier the inmates or the outsiders i don't know what you want to call them but this season right here is such a fucking hot mess it's a hot mess they this season has been plastered all over youtube in regards to like one of the couple he looks like he's like maybe like a buck 50 and she looks like she's like over 500 pounds you know she's getting a lot of hate for that and then there's another one that like blew all of her inmates money on like lip injections and all types of shit but actually she just dropped a video and he's actually back in jail because there's a video of her of him fucking her up like punching her in the face all like i don't understand how these people think like you're meeting inmates for the first time like just do mail and shit like that and thinking that you're gonna get married as soon as they get out like you don't know these people you have to live with them so people are just finding out how their loved one really 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 is and some of them do work out i i shouldn't say that there are couples that have worked out and there are couples that you are rooting for it is what it is but then you have like the stupidity of some of these people and it's like really and the families never get along listen it is trash but it's trash that i can't look away from Pound Best Friends is back on TV. DLC, DLC, on DLC, on DLC. I fucking love that show. A Thousand Pound Best Friends. When I tell you this season alone is giving me just so much motivation because I understand everyone has their struggles in like this little circle in regards to losing weight. <laughs> and now like the biggest the one that used to be the biggest of the crew is now the smallest and it's like there's the struggles and it's i like it because it's real everyday struggles right it's everyday struggles that you and i go through in regards to like weight loss and just like the anger and the the outburst and all of it so but we're back we're back i think we are two episodes and two episodes and two episodes in of season two so thousand pound best friends and like i said the group of girls who are trying to get weight loss surgery if you like like my 600 pound life you'll like this one dr proctor is and he's so good to look at so by the way thousand pound sisters is returning very very soon this month actually so i also love that i love anything with weight loss 600 pound life um thousand pound friends thousand pound sisters because it's just motivation it, it just it really really is in, in so many different different ways okay i am i am currently re-watching true blood now i know i said in another video that you would never catch me re-watching a series My sis Jazz told me that she was watching True Blood. I'm like, you know what? I should watch it because when that series came out, let's just say your girl was not in the right head place. <laughs> and although I know the chip of of True Blood, right? Like I started rewatching it, and even like the first five episodes. 
episodes, I have no fucking clue. I must have been so, let's just say fucked up. We'll keep it at that. Um, yeah. So, I don't remember half of it. I can't even remember how it ended. And if you like, if you like anything like vampires and werewolves and fairies and shit like that, True Blood is probably the best series for shit like that, if that makes sense. It wasn't done corny. It wasn't like, eh, it was done perfectly. True Blood, really, it's a mix of comedy, what, thrill. It's just one of those. It's just one of those. Um, I became a big, big fan of True Blood. Um, my family became also a a big fan of it. And unfortunately, we, we did lose one of the characters, Lafayette. We did lose him. Um, I'm not really sure what he passed away from, but I remember reading it and I'm like, damn. So, yeah. But anyway, I am watching True Blood and that is on HBO Max. Um, Ruthless is on BET. Ruthless is back on TV as well. That is on the BET app. It is, um, a series about a cult that people are trying to break break away from, but it's not as easy as one thinks. And um, so there's a lot of action going on there. Ruthless, you know, I came into that show thinking that I wouldn't like it. It is from Tyler Perry, I do believe. But as but as this, this season one, ah, uh, you. Season one was needed because it had to give you the whole picture in regards to what we're working with, right? So, once we got to season two and three, shit started really, like, really, really, like, like, I cannot wait for the next week when it comes to Ruthless because they weigh the way they end stuff. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? I, I need to know. So, um, Ruthless is on the BET app. All the Queen's Men. Listen, I've been telling you guys about this show again on the BET app. And, you know, Ruthless and All the Queen's Men. If you want some drama, drama, like messy drama, this, these, this is it for you. All the Queen's Men. A lady runs a, a male strip club. It's not what you think, fellas. We don't all see men stripping but there's just a drama that goes behind running a strip club and her name is madam and she is someone you just don't fuck with and everybody is scared of her but people still try to come for her so it is one of those she is reckless like, i i love all the queen's men if i had to say her name is madam again I would say she's probably the top woman on BET that you just would not fuck with like she's running it. I, I promise you, I promise you, I promise you all the queen's men. Alright, I am currently still watching Young Rock. See, I flip-flop a lot. Like, I have certain days for certain things, but um, Young Rock is fucking awesome. It's a good comedy. That's on Peacock. Um, res resident Alien. <laughs> resident Alien. Resident Alien. Resident Alien. That's on Peacock. It's about an alien who wants to take over Earth. So, um, he, he takes on a human form and he's trying to, like, he's collecting, like, information regards to, like, so whatever but ironically there is a little boy who can see his true form which is an alien so um it starts off the little boy just starts screaming because he sees him in the street and the alien realizes that the little kid can blow his cover so it's just like a little cute cat and mouse him trying to supposedly you know kill this little kid but it's a comedy it does not work out that way and it's just so funny because like once the little boy realizes that this alien's a fucking joke like i can outsmart you type of thing it becomes really 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 cute so re 
resident alien is on Peacock. I love it. Really, really cute. I'm also rewatching um, Two and a Half Men. Need I say more? When I cook, clean, edit, upload, I like to put stuff on like True Blood or Two and a Half Men and Young Rock. Like I like to laugh. By the way, I know I'm jumping. While and out, I I get if you need a good chuckle. While and out has so many clips on YouTube, and if you know what type of game you actually like from While and Out, they have like compilations of all of them put together, and you're gonna sit there and watch it. When I tell you, it is the best thing ever. While and out on YouTube, I mean it's on MTV. Yeah, I think it's on MTV if you have regular cable, but, um, well, and now definitely puts a smile on my face. Best Man on Peacock. I watched that over the holidays, the holidays, the holidays, the holidays, the holidays, the holidays. I liked it. It definitely, at first I thought it was an actual movie, but it's actually a series, and what I appreciate most about it is it actually picked up where the movie left off. And so it wasn't like it was like a separate type of, you know, movie and then the series. It literally, 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 literally picked up, picked up where we left off. So, um, so the best man on Peacock, Chucky part two, season two, season two is on Peacock. I'm currently watching that. If you watch the movie, um, I think it's kind of following the movie, like, um, Chucky 2, I believe, is when they went to, like, when, um, Andy went to the all-boys school. So, this one is kind of following that, like, the kids are in a boarding school and Chucky found them. So, I am watching season 2 of that. And lastly... Last but not least, I am currently watching you. <laughs> and from my understanding, uh, the next season is about to drop very, very shortly. You, you reminds me of like a Dexter. He is a serial killer, but he has his ways. At first, you thought he was just a stalker, but then he's like a serial killer, like I said, that has his ways, but then he met his match. If that makes sense. And now he's married to this match. And so he has a problem. So anyway, um, that is what you is about. And on that note, my lovies, that is it for my list. I hope something that I mentioned you can watch today. It is Sunday. So on that note, I love you guys for watching. Until next